Jay Clark here. Today we're going to give a little few tips on installing a new clutch kit in your uh, CRF250. We've got a TMV uh, clutch kit. First thing I'm going to do is cut it open and get it soaking in oil and then we'll show taking apart the, uh, the stock one and installing the uh, new clutch. Okay, so what we're going to do is I just pour some oil right into a clean bucket. Or some people use a Ziploc bag. I just leave it in a bucket and then I have some clean oil always to soak the clutch plates in. And just drop the clutch plates in. Right apart from each other. This allows the, the oil to soak into the fiber plates. Um, the long, you know, uh, half hour, an hour would be ideal if you can give it that much time uh, to let it soak in there. The way the clutch will have, uh, have a lot better action and not wear out as quick. We start first by we press in on the uh, rear master cylinder, push down, gives us a little room in our brake to put a screwdriver in here. Now we're going to remove all these bolts, take the pressure plate off, and install the new clutch plates. So we're going to start by taking the clutch cover off. Just simple T-handle, 8 millimeter. These aren't very tight. Real simple, easy deal. Just remove all these. The stock Honda runs an O-ring on the inside of the cover. Usually it stays uh, undamaged. So if you can keep that O-ring in there, that's really nice. Saves you having to buy a new O-ring. Um, if it does get pinched or torn, uh, you really have to put a new one in. No, no really way to seal it up without a brand new O-ring. Okay, so now we're going to start loosening up the uh, pressure plate bolts. We're going to start loosening them all evenly and then back them all off evenly. Um, if you back them off unevenly, you can risk uh, damaging the threads on, in the inner hub. And so you want to tighten them the same way, of course, as well. Stock parts out of there. Now we're going to pull the clutch pack out with the pressure plate. The pressure plate, the top hat here on a Honda, there's, a lot of times the washer will stick to the pressure plate. In this case, it stayed in the motor. We're going to pull that out. And we'll set that on the bench with our other parts. So now the stock plates, see how they're all purple? So this clutch is, is, is pretty heated up. And so it's time for a new clutch. And we're going to get all the plates out of there. The last plate, the last plate is, has a judder spring. And it can be a bit difficult to get it out. So you have to use some little uh, picks or something to try to pull that last plate out. If you get started on one side, a lot of times you can then move over to the other side with two picks and walk it on out. Now, in here, the judder spring stayed in, and so we're going to leave that in there. The last plate is a different diameter, so you want to make sure that you put the right plate in the right order. So now the thin plate will go on the bottom so in our new, from our new clutch pack. Okay, so now we've got our clutches that have been soaking for about an hour soaking, so we're ready to go. Our judder spring fiber plate is on top. It's the thinner one, so we don't mis misplate, mistake it. So it's ready to go in first. So we drop it in, and then we put a metal plate in. Every other one, of course. And we just pull them straight out of the oil bucket, right in. What that allows, now there's oil in between each plate really well in between the fibers and metals. Now we're installing our last plate. So we're going to install our top hat piece, make sure the washer's on there nice and it's all ready to go. We've got the pressure plate, it's sitting down flush and we're going to install this, the new springs. The bolts, you just want to get them all started before you start tightening really any of them down. So we're gonna get them all just like a quarter of the way started, let's say. So we're making sure the springs are gonna line up directly under the, the bolts and washers. We're driving it down about halfway now. And going, rotating around now a little bit, slightly bit more than half now. Going down and just, now we can keep going down a little bit deeper, three quarters of the way or so. Now we can start getting it about all the way down and rotating around. So they stop. And you want to be careful not to go too tight. These bolts could break off if you were to go too crazy, but you want to make sure they're good and snug. You don't want to have anything holding the motor. If you start to turn the motor over, you're kind of going too, uh, too tight. Good idea before you put the cover on, just to check the clutch. Feel the clutch is uh, good. Nothing's crazy, like too loose, too tight. Feels great. You can see it moving down here. So your clutch works. Everything looks nice. So now we're going to put our cover back on. On the cover, we're still checking out the O-ring. The Honda, stock Honda O-ring will stay in there pretty good, as long as you don't do anything crazy. Drop it right on. Install the bolts back on as you did. 
Now we've got them all down, about three quarters, almost there, and we're gonna start tightening them all the way down now. Keep even pressure on the O-ring, tighten them all the way down, good and snug. Okay, so now we just wanna always make sure you have proper play. So you can just dial into where you have a little bit of play. If you don't have enough, just with this main adjuster, your adjuster's right here in the cable. If you need to get a little more adjustment out from your old clutch. But so right now, let's make sure we got a, a hair bit of play and we're good to go. So new clutch and uh, be able to pull out of the turns way faster, have a little more fun.